mixed reaction after a Nigerian man from the north was rewarded with 9.2 billion naira scholarship. They say hard work always pays. That is exactly the case of a young man from the north who has caused mixed reactions after being rewarded for his hard work and dedication. A young Nigerian man named Maniru Ibrahim have been rewarded with a scholarship for a PhD program in Ireland after graduating with outstanding results from a Nigerian university. Maniru graduated with a first class in a mathematics from Usman Dafodio University. The scholarship program is worth 20, 20 million pounds when converted to Naira. It is an equivalent of nine billion two hundred and six million four hundred and seven thousand eight hundred. That is nine point two billion naira. He he will also be getting a yearly allowances of eighteen eighteen million five hundred pounds. That is eight million five hundred and fifteen million nine hundred and twenty seven thousand twenty two naira the scholarship programs was by funded by the science foundation island center for research training in the foundation of data science after the news was shared so many nigerians have shared their their opinions as they congratulate the young man this is truly an outstanding achievement that shows that hard work will always be rewarded. We hope he will, he will serve as an example to so many other youths. Well, that is a very uh, good one. That is good news. Good news to all of us in Nigeria. Yeah, they say hard work always pay but there are so many people out there that are working hard but uh, it has not come to them this way and so we are praying that uh, everyone that is working hard should have an outstanding result so that this guy have and he was rewarded but i want to state here that uh, there are so many youths out there who are working very hard, who, who even have more than what this guy have. They say he has an outstanding result in mathematics. What of someone who has an outstanding result in mathematics, maybe in, uh, in basic science, in social science, and what have you? How many of them has been rewarded? So what happened to this guy is because he has godfather, he has background. That's why those things work for him that way. If you calculate, he was not only the person in that school. There are so many people there whose result is even better than his own. But just because he has a godfather, he has support here and there. Do you know how much this guy's parents has paid to the school authority? To give this reward to this guy so we are nigerians we know everything that has happened that guy parents has paid heavily to the school authority or to the organizer of that program so that that scholarship will be given to his son that is what goes on there even though we don't even though we we, we don't know where the share yam we know how many they have shared it into that is the proverb. So that is the work of Nigerians. Because this guy is not only the person that studied in that school. After all, Nigerians is full of bribing and corruption. Yes, the parents of this guy might have bribed. That is why such programs is given to his son. Don't, don't think that he just come that way. Don't, don't think that way. This is Nigerian. And that is what we are talking about. Bribing and corruption has spoiled this country beyond repair. That is why we get in insecurity. We, 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 get, in, we get loopholes 
in every nook and cranny in Nigeria, everything has been loosed open where, where somebody can come and do every other things. And if we go away, Scott Finn, government will not do anything. Now, a couple of years ago, we have heard that even foreigners, even foreigners do come to Nigeria, they stole a million amount of Naira and they will go back to the country. Nothing will happen. Somebody even said, if you want to do business and get great gain, go to Nigeria. You will do them you will do whatever you want to do nobody will do you anything if yes as such we have seen it in in various sector in nigeria the the, the, the big men the, the the government parastatus they will steal money nobody will jail them nobody will take them to court nobody will do them anything at the end of the day they free them because they are always together yes that is how they have been operating in this country and today they have destroyed this country beyond repair that's why we are experiencing all this thing so for this guy to win to, to win this scholarship I state again, he was not only the student in that school. There are so many students in that school that even have a study result more than his. Yes, it is bribing and corruption. That is why they have ended up spoiling this country today. Because it, for somebody to win such amount of money is not easy. And again, you know what? The, the Nigerians are not helping matter. This scholarship given to this guy alone I think it can be given to 15 students where poverty and where poverty will be eradicated from our society. Now, this guy alone being given this scholarship, what is he going to use it for? Is it only him that have parents? Is it only him that is in Nigeria? That is what we are talking about. This scholarship can be given to 15, up to 15 to 20 students. Yes, and life will be better. You know, when we begin to share the resources of our country, I tell you, life will be better. So that is how Nigeria has been operating. You can imagine in a, in a house of representative or the house of senate, one man, one man will, rec will receive billions of naira at the end of the month. Just one man. And there are more than how many? So if, if they begin to receive salary like that at the end of the month, then how can money go into circulation? That is why the senator, the house representative, the presidency, they were the one enjoy this country more than others. Because if you look at the money they receive at the end of the month, my, my brother, you will share tears. While we have people roaming about the street of Nigeria, so in fact, the Nigeria youths has turned to beggars. Nigeria, they have turned to beggar on the street because they are looking for something to do. Why so many people have been involved in one illegal business or the other? It is because there is nothing to do.